So, we all know Toy Story, right? The franchise that has been such a beloved and memorable part of Disney and Pixar ever since November 22nd, 1995. The movie where Woody gets jealous of Buzz Lightyear but then becomes his friend after learning that even if his child, Andy, has different interests over the years, doesn't mean that he won't have a special place for Woody anymore, and how Woody and Buzz become friends at the end knowing that they are both equal in Andy's heart. Well, guess what? On November 24th, 1999, there came a Toy Story 2 where Woody becomes insecure after Andy accidentally rips his arm while playing with him, which causes him to feel that he'll stop playing with him for good. But then what he gets kidnapped by this greedy seller man who decides to sell him to make more money, which causes Woody to meet Jesse and Bullseye, who have been given away by a little girl in the name of Emily, who used to always play with Jesse but then grew up, and went from having a cowgirl phase to some sort of Barbie phase, and who gave away Jesse because of it. Meanwhile, Slinky, Rex, Mr. Potato Head, Ham, and Buzz go on a mission to save Woody and bring him home to Andy. And after everything they went through to save their friend, Woody had the audacity to decide to stay where he was so he could be sold when Buzz retaught him the lesson of life only worth living if a toy is loved by a kid. But after realizing the lesson he taught Buzz one time, would he realizes that he can't stop Andy from growing up, but he wouldn't miss it for the world. And after he saves Jesse and Bullseye, and after he defeats Stinky Pete, Woody goes home to Andy once and for all, and he brings Jesse and Bullseye along with him. And at the end, Woody tells Buzz that he's no longer worried about being broken anymore, and what matters is that he is Andy's toy, and that it'll be fun while it lasts. And even by the end of the day, he'll have old Buzz Lightyear to keep him company, for infinity and beyond. That's a perfect sequel, am I right? Well, get a load of this. On June 18, 2010, there was a Toy Story 3, when Andy is all grown up and about to go to college, when the toys are worried that they will be abandoned. But Woody tries to comfort everyone and tell them that everything will all be okay in the attic. But the toys don't end up in the attic, but in a daycare called Sunnyside. And they meet a strawberry-scented pink bear in the name of Lotso. And they are all amazed how life is in a daycare. But while the other toys, including Buzz agree to stay in the daycare, because Andy is all grown up now, and they are ready to be played with by new kids. Woody is still arguing about staying loyal to Andy, despite that he's older now, and in frustration, he soon leaves when the toys refuse to go with him. But the other toys have a rough experience in the daycare, and Woody eventually goes back to the daycare to save the other toys, and after that they all eventually reunite and make up after a disagreement between Woody being loyal to Andy and Buzz trying to keep the toy family together, and they go through so much while trying to escape, especially after Woody learns that Lotso did something to Buzz to make him think that he's a real space ranger again. After all the chaos they go through, even before Buzz goes back to his normal self again, and after the truth about Lotso of gets revealed, and even after he betrayed them instead of saving them from a giant fire hole, which is before those three aliens save them, the other toys feel like they should have stayed in the attic after all. But guess what does happen? Andy agrees to give away his toys to another child in the name of Bonnie. And after playing with his toys for the very final time ever, including Woody, and after mentioning that Woody will never give up on Bonnie, and that he'll always be there for her no matter what, Andy leaves as Woody says, So long, partner. That was absolutely the most beautiful ending ever. In fact, I feel that was the perfect ending to the Toy Story saga itself. It was originally supposed to be the ending, but then, not to sound like a broken record, except I already am broken from realizing that Toy Story 3 is no longer the true ending to the franchise, which it always will be to me no matter what. Guess what came along? On June 21st, 2019, there came Toy Story 4. To be honest, even though Toy Story 3 was the perfect ending to the franchise, I did decide to give Toy Story 4 a chance, and it honestly had its ups and downs. The pros are Woody's loyalty and how he never gives up on others, even when it means taking risks, because he is the all-loving heroic cowboy we all know and love, right? The animation is also great, and the soundtracks are very nostalgic. Some cons, however, is that a lot of the characters were kind of mischaracterized and a bit bland compared to how they were before. 
For example, Buzz Lightyear came from a smart space ranger to a naive man that finds it hard to think unless the buttons on his chest tell him what to do, which is something he never did before. He always thought for himself, remember? He didn't need his chest buttons to tell him what to do, so it's out of character. Also, a lot of the old crew members like Jesse, Bullseye, Ham, Rex, Slinky, and Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head were mostly ignored throughout the movie. They show up a lot in posters and trailers of the movie, but they don't have huge roles in the actual movie. And you know what else? Bonnie's toys like Dolly, Trixie, Buttercup, and Mr. Pricklepants were mostly ignored, too. All Jesse did was poke a hole in a tire of an RV to distract Bonnie's dad from what he's doing, and the old crew did was stay in the RV and then cause Bonnie's family to crash into a carnival, and that was it. They didn't have a big role like they used to, and you know why? Because the limelight was on Bo Peep, Woody's ex-girlfriend whom he hasn't seen in nine years, which is an understandable route to go, because Bo Peep was a side character in Toy Story 1 and 2, and she only showed up for one moment in Toy Story 3 before being given away by Andy and Molly's family, and the flashback of Toy Story 4 reveals what happens before Bo Peep is given away. But you know something? Instead of keeping her as the soft and delicate porcelain doll she originally was in that flashback, they made her an action girl who joins Woody on being the leader of the pack. And instead of showing how her character development grows after she reunites with Woody, they give her that new personality in the flashback. Now, some of you could argue that Andy might have somehow helped Bo Peep become more heroic and less of a so-called damsel in distress. But I say because of how the writers sort of rushed to make the script and make the movie hit the theaters. Instead of taking the time to keep her original self in the flashback, they instead wanted their audience to believe she was always like Woody so they could hurry and move on with the story. Another thing about Bo Peep's new personality is that she went from sweet and understanding to arrogant and selfish. In the flashback, instead of letting Woody try to save her from the box, she tells him that she's not Andy's toy and that it's time for the next kid. And even if she was actually Molly's porcelain lamp figure, along with her sheep, Andy did play with her in the past, but she still wants to escape and be with a new kid. And the most insane thing is that she tries to get Woody to leave Andy as well, which he almost does. Even after all the character development he had in the first three movies, from coming from an insecure toy who fears being abandoned to a heroic cowboy who is always there for his friends and never fears about being abandoned. And not to mention that years later, after separating from Bo Peep, and then being given away from Andy to Bonnie, and being played with for two full years, they make Woody seem like he's insecure about not being played with by Bonnie for three days, when he hasn't been played with by Andy for even longer than that. And yet they take away that character development for him. But he still retains his loyalty, especially when he meets Forky, a spork project Bonnie creates as a comfort object for her getting through kindergarten. But when Woody reunites with Bo Peep and learns that she knows about the antique store Forky is trapped in, he asks her to help him save Forky, and she rejects at first, saying that he's better off cutting his losses and going home, and that kids lose their toys every day, and that Bonnie will surely get over it, but she eventually does accept the request to help him. But then, Bo Peep goes out even more out of character than in the first two movies, and I don't mean the action girl thing, but the way she interacts with other characters. The way she scolded Woody when her sheep went missing. The way she told him to stay put and be quiet. Her telling the toys in the pinball machine that he's not her friend, but her accessory. Her patronizing him to Duke Kaboom, calling him an idiot making him go with Duke Kaboom on the motorcycle, giving up on Forky, and leaving Woody behind when he continued to be on his mission. And despite the fact that Bo Peep did realize about Woody's loyalty, saying that he's always doing right by his kid and that you got to love him for it, it still doesn't undo all the condescending moments she's done. But yet, because of the so-called character development Bo Peep has, and because of how the limelight is supposed to be about her, Woody and Buzz were portrayed as heroes that are out of their elements, compared to how they were in the first three movies, while all of the other toys were pushed to the side. And another reason why a lot of the old toys were ignored most of the time in the fourth movie is because there were new characters that are voice acted by popular celebrities. There's Ducky, who's voiced by Keegan-Michael Key, Bunny, who is voiced by Jordan Peele, 
and Duke Kaboom, who is voiced by Keanu Reeves. Bottom line, all of the characters we knew and loved were replaced with celebrity cameos. Oh, and don't think I'm not going to talk about the ending, because I am. Bonnie played with Woody for two whole years and just chose not to play with him for three days, even though she did eventually play with him in Forky in one scene of this movie. And Andy hasn't played with him for much longer than Bonnie hasn't played with him. But yet, you know what Woody does at the end? He could have went home back to Bonnie's house with Buzz and the rest of the gang, but instead, he leaves them to be with Bo Peep instead. Some people may like descending, but others don't. Well, me. I find it a bit confusing, honestly. It's portrayed as a happy ending, but I can't decide what's more confusing about it. The fact that Woody leaves his family after all they've been through, including Buzz, when he said that they'd be together for infinity and beyond, and that they should stay together as a family, or how he stays with Bo Peep, a porcelain Mary Sue that has been condescending and patronizing towards him throughout the whole adventure to save Forky and never even actually apologize to him for it. But yet, Woody chooses her over his own family of toys, including his biggest teammate, Buzz. But you know what? To me, Toy Story 3 was the best ending. And Toy Story 4 is some type of weird dream Woody is having at night. But nowadays, we're hearing news about Toy Story 5 coming out in 2026, and people appear to be more excited for Shrek 5 than another Toy Story movie. And in this picture that's in this video, we see Slinky, Rex, Woody, Ham, Jesse, Bullseye, Buzz, and yep, even Forky, sadly looking at Bonnie, who's under the blanket of her bed playing with an electronic tablet. Now, about this leaked picture here, it is pretty common that a lot of today's kids would be playing with electronics more than actual toys, and it is no surprise that they would want to show that in a movie, and it could show to parents that their kids could possibly choose electronics over toys they used to play with until they received tablets or video game devices or etc. But at the same time, remember the fantastic ending of Toy Story 3 when Andy gives those toys to Bonnie and Bonnie is happily playing with them? Well, the plot of Toy Story 5 kind of goes against Bonnie's character because she did promise Andy that she'd take care of those toys, but now she's playing with the tablet. She chooses a tablet over the toys, including Forky, her comfort object from kindergarten. But you know what? Maybe this movie will help Bonnie understand how to get into playing with toys again instead of playing with electronics so much. Maybe not all will be lost. Oh, and also, Woody is back? Did he feel bad about that decision he made about leaving his family to be with Bo Peep? Probably so. That's what I'm thinking. If he returns to his family once and for all, that would pretty much save the franchise. And what if Andy returns? What if he already graduated from college? What if he has a job now? What would his future be like? Maybe this movie will reveal that. So how do you think Toy Story 5 is going to be like? Do you think it'll fix the ending of Toy Story 4, despite Toy Story 3 being the best ending to the whole franchise?